out of control rioters or freedom fighters against Chinese oppression. These pictures, showing Buddhist monks charging a heavily armed police line, are polarizing opinion. As the West criticizes China, many Chinese people living here say the Western media is deliberately misinterpreting the footage that's coming out of Tibet. If something like that happens in any country, so of course the government can send army out or police or whatever. Yeah, and they're just to protect all those innocent people. What the latest pictures don't show is the police response or what prompted a peaceful protest to turn violent. They were broadcast by Chinese state television in an attempt to win the propaganda war over Tibet. Here we see what's alleged to be an ethnic Chinese man being attacked by Tibetans. Many Chinese New Zealanders say that, if anything, the police and army have been too soft on the rioters. They've told Three News that the Tibetans are gangsters who've attacked innocent Han Chinese civilians, killing at least 18 of them. Chinese websites are awash with angry people who are upset at the way their country is being portrayed by the media. And they say that Tibet has been a part of China for a thousand years and should never be separated again. Their anger comes as the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives met the Tibetan leader in exile, the Dalai Lama, who China blames for the violence. The freedom-loving people throughout the world do not speak out against China's oppression in China and Tibet. We have lost all moral authority to speak on, on behalf of human rights anywhere in the world. <laughs> a visit coincided with a march in India, which saw protesters trying to storm the Chinese embassy. We want freedom! We want Freedom's exactly what the Chinese government wants to take away from the rioters. It's released pictures of its most wanted list and offered a reward for the names of the people involved, people that some Chinese here regard as terrorists. Jane Luscombe, 3 News.